Welcome to a day in my life as an actual analyst who works from home. In this video, I'll be showing you my daily work routine and also be talking about my study schedule and the projects I've recently been working on for my job. I usually wake up at 7 a.m. and make my bed. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more actual science content. Now because I work fully remote, I usually don't put on makeup, but today I wanted to look good for you guys, so I did. Working remotely has been great so far because I can work from my computer in my house and I don't have to go into the office if I don't want to, which means it takes less time to get ready in the morning. Around 7.30 a.m. I start studying for my upcoming actual exam. I'll usually have a yogurt for breakfast and get all my study supplies together, like my notepad for doing practice questions, my notebook, a binder with more notes, and my computer. I start by logging the time I start studying so I can track how long I study for the day. My goal for today is to get through a full four hour long practice exam. Because my job gives me study hours, I was actually able to study for over four hours this morning, which I'll tell you why I did this later in the video. But one of the most surprising things to me since starting my full-time job is that I feel like I have more time to study now than I did when I was in college because I have allocated time during the day to study and don't have as many after-school activities to go to. Here's a look at the tables and some of the formulas that I have to use for this exam. As you can see, there is a lot of math involved, so it's important to like math if you plan on becoming an actuary. Once I finished the practice exam and my brain was nearly fried, I started setting up for actual work. So I put my study materials away, get out my work laptop and keyboard, turn on the monitor, and get logged in. Now the first thing I do every day at the start of work is check my email and any messages that I have to make sure I am up to date with everything. Here's a close up of my setup. So my keyboard, my laptop, and my monitor, and my daily to-do list. I'm thinking about doing a full office tour video maybe next month so I can show you everything that's in my office and what the lights look like at nighttime. So if you're interested in seeing that video, let me know in the comments below. Now it's time for my lunch break. So I decided to go for a run on the treadmill. She's a runner, she's a track star. I usually like to stay active at least somewhat during the workday, and using my lunch break to work out is one way I like to do so. It also helps to reactivate my brain after a long study session. Then I do a quick stretch and it's back to work. I just got back from my quick run, but I wanted to jump in and show you guys my new glasses. I mentioned on my Bella the Actuary podcast that I went to the eye doctor a few weeks ago because I thought something was wrong with my eyes, like seriously. And it turned out that I just could use some glasses. So I wanted to show them. They are pink and they're super cute. I think they look good and they make me feel a little bit nerdy. They make me feel more like an actuary, which is so funny. I also wanted to say that not all of my days look like this. Sometimes I study more in the morning. Actually, no, that's not true. This is probably the maximum amount of time that I've ever studied in the morning. I usually study from like eight to 10.30 in the morning and then do work the rest of the day and then maybe study a bit more from like three to 4.30. I'm also kind of in a weird spot right now with my work because just last week I finished one of my main projects. And so now I'm doing more ad hoc work. Like this past week I did an interview. I actually interviewed somebody else for this job. It was so cool to see, but also strange because I've only been working here a few months and the questions were kind of similar to the questions that I had received when I interviewed for this job. So it was cool to see how someone else interviewed. Also don't mind me putting on my glasses. I just think they look cool. One thing that I think really helped me to stand out when I was interviewing was my coding skills and the experience that I had. Before this job, I had two internships. And if you're curious about seeing a day in my life as an actual intern, I actually made two videos about that. But I really think if you're hoping to get an actual job, really focus on the skills that you have along with actuarial knowledge is very important. You can check out the video I made specifically on what coding skills actuaries need to know in their jobs. But if you are curious about improving those skills and are looking for a new way to do that, I actually would recommend a website called Brilliant. Brilliant is a website where you learn by doing with thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI, which is perfect for actuaries. I actually think it's super cool because they have lessons where you can work on your coding skills in Python. You can learn about neural networks. You can learn how to build regression models, which is super important in actuarial work. You can learn about clustering methods, which is actually something that I'm learning about on my upcoming actuarial exam. So they have a lot of advanced topics that you can learn about. 
You can practice your skills with Brilliant on your way to work. You can practice it between soccer practice and class. Because it's a website, you can use it on the go. So to try everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30-day trial, you can visit the website linked in the description below or check out the QR code on the screen here. By using this link, you can get a whole 20% off an annual premium subscription. I also conducted some competitive research, which means I basically went onto this online database that has a record of all the insurance companies in the US and all of their filings. So all of the new rates or all of the new prices that they're charging, all of the insurance companies in the US, every time they submit a document to the DOI or the state's Department of Insurance, it has to be put on this website. So this database has every company's filings, although they don't have every single detail because obviously insurance companies want to keep some secrets to themselves of how much they're charging and things like that. So for the state that I was looking for, I was able to go in and find another company, one that I don't work for, and see what rates they had in their filing, which I think is super cool. And anybody can go access this, even if you don't work for an insurance company, you can go online and see insurance information for free. One thing you'll find out when you work at and actually though that I think is really cool is that insurance companies will give you time to study during the workday. So my company actually technically pays me to study during the workday, which is why I was able to study for so long this morning. I actually hadn't used some of my study hours earlier this week, and so I was able to move them to today and study for a longer period, which actually worked out great because I was in the middle of taking a practice exam and I just wanted to finish it and get it over with instead of having to come back to it later. So that was great. So probably for the next hour or two, I'm gonna be working on this peer check assignment that I have. At 3 p.m., I grabbed a snack. I made some avocado toast, which is one of my favorite things to make because it's quick, easy, and nutritious. <laughs> I just finished work for the week, so now it's time to go enjoy the weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be sure to put out more YouTube videos once my exam is over in early November. So stay tuned for more actual science content. Bye!